Hello everyone and welcome to our new section which is called sorting algorithms. Till now we have learned different types of data structures such as arrays, lists, dictionaries, tuples, stacks, queues, linked lists and different types of trees. Now from this section we will start to learn different types of algorithms which are must for any software developer regardless of programming language. So in this section we will start with sorting algorithms and we will learn different techniques for sorting algorithms such as bubble sort, selection sort, insertion sort, bucket sort, merge sort, quick sort and heap sort. Now in this first lecture let's learn what is sorting and why we need it. By definition sorting refers to arranging data in particular format either in ascending or descending. It means we need sorting to sort any given data in either ascending or descending order. Now let's see this example to make this definition more clear. Now here we have five different size photos of this beautiful lady over here and we can see that the height of these photos are different and they are not in particular order. Now if we apply any sorting techniques the row will be like this and as you can see they are standing in ascending order of their height. Here you might be interested how do we arrange them in this order? So for sorting we have different techniques as we are going to learn in our upcoming lectures. So we can apply any of them to get this order over here. So hopefully you have understand what is sorting. Now let's see some practical examples of sorting. The first example is Microsoft Excel. So if you have ever used Excel, you might know that there's a built-in function in Excel which is used to sort data in either ascending or descending order. By using this function, we can sort any given column's data in both ascending or descending order. So here from this picture, you can see that there's a sort icon under the data tab in Excel. And by using this, we can sort any given column. So if the column is date column and if we select the ascending order, it will sort the data in ascending order. If the column consists of strings, then it will sort them from A to Z. Now another practical example is online shopping. So if you search online shopping websites, they have sorting orders for their products. Now for example, on Amazon, there are different criteria of sorting of products that you can buy. So by using sorting option, you can sort different products by review, by price or by rankings. So these are the few real examples of sorting that is available in real life. So hopefully everything is clear about what is sorting. So with this we have completed our lecture and we have learned what is sorting and we have learned some practical use of sorting in real life. Now in the next lecture, let's learn different types of sorting techniques.